Hey there, Mr. Holcomb here. Another episode of Math Behind the Module. Okay, here we go. Lesson 15. Equations of graphs of proportional relationships involving fractions. Okay. Sam's mother has entered a 10K race. Sam and his family want to show their support for their mother, but they need to figure out where they should go along the race course. They also need to determine how long it will take her to run the race so that they will know when to meet her at the finish line. Previously, his mother ran a 5K race with a time of one and one half hours. Here's our first piece of information. She ran a 5K race of one and one half hours. Assume Sam's mother ran the same rate as the previous race in order to complete the chart. Create a table that shows how far Sam's mother has run after each half hour from the start of the race. Okay. After each half hour from the start. Okay. The start of the race is not after, so we're not going to include the start in the table. But we do know the start of the race at zero minutes or hours, she's gone zero kilometers. Okay. And then graph on the coordinate plane. So time in hours, it says each half hour, so that's the easy part. One half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. I prefer improper fractions, they're easier to multiply. Okay, and again, I'm going to focus on this column is always x, this is always y, and k is y over x. So k equals something over a half and so forth. All right? So if they, she ran a 5k race with a time of one and a half hours, then we're going to go to one and a half and put a dot at five. Okay, go over one and a half and up to five. That's three. Let's start again. Over to one and a half, which is here, and up to four and a half, which is five. Okay, five kilometers in one and a half hours. So what I want to do is find K. Distance is Y. Time is X. It's Y over X, so it's distance over time. So the distance was 5, and the time was 3 halves. All right, so K is going to equal 5 times 2 thirds, because we have to multiply by the reciprocal of 3 halves. Well, that's going to be 10 thirds which is three and one third. Equals three and one third. Okay. Alright. So okay, so our K is ten thirds. Let's not change it to three and one third. Let's leave it ten thirds. So the distance run is going to be one half times ten over three, because y equals k times x. So that's going to be equal to ten sixths, which is one and two thirds. Okay, one times ten thirds is ten thirds, which is three and one third. 3 halves times 10 thirds equals 30 over 6, which equals 5. 2 times 10 over 3, not 13, 10 over 3. 2 times 10 over 3 equals 20 over 3, which equals 6 and two-thirds. 6.6 .6 is going to just keep repeating. 6, 6, 6, 6. So it's 6 and two-thirds. 
5 halves times 10 thirds equals 50 over 6, which equals 8 is 48, remainder 20, times 3 is 18, remainder 20, 8.3388 and 1 third. Okay, so it's 8.333 repeating, so that is 8 and 1 third. And then finally, 3 times 10 over 3. The threes cancel and we get 10. Okay, so what did we do here? We took K5, 5, 5 K, 5 kilometers, which is our distance, divided by time of 1 and a half to get our rate or our constant proportionality. Once we found that 10 thirds, we took 1 half times 10 thirds, 1 times 10 thirds, 3 halves times 10 thirds to get our y value. So at 1 half, we're at 1 and 2 thirds. So 1 half, go up 1 and 2 thirds is about here. And if I go over to 1 and I go up 3 and a third, it's right about here. And I already did 1 and a half, 5, so it was the same as the previous race. That was our key, that right there. Then I go 2. 6 and 2 thirds is about here. And then 5 halves, 2 and a half, 8 and 1 third, which is about here. And then finally 310, which is here. And if I connect those, it is a straight line going through the origin. So therefore, it is proportional. Okay, so the next question A says. What are some specific things you noticed about this graph? Well, all the points are on a straight line, and it goes through the origin, so therefore it's proportional. What is the connection between the table and the graph? The table are the coordinates for the graph. So the x is your, this axis is x, and this axis is your y value. So these are points. So this first thing here, the 1 half, would be one half comma one and two thirds and that's this point right here so the values in our table are our x's and y's in our points that we plot on the coordinate plane okay c says what does the ordered pair two comma six and two thirds represent in the context of this problem well x is time and why is distance? So the answer to this question is, it would say, for runners, comma, or the mother, when she ran, two hours, okay, two hours of running, she would go. Six and two thirds kilometers. That's what that means. If you run two miles, the distance is six and two thirds. Okay. All right. For runners, two hours of running, she would go six and two thirds kilometers. All right. Next question. Example two. Gourmet cooking. After taking a cooking class, you decide to try out your new cooking skills by preparing a meal for your family. You have chosen a recipe that uses gourmet mushrooms as a main ingredient. Using the graph below, complete the table of values and answer the following questions. Okay, there isn't anything we can do with zero, zero because K can equal anything. If K was a million, zero times a million is zero. So that point does not help me. So I need to pick something other than zero, zero and say Y equals K, or I'm sorry, K equals Y over X. I want the equation Y equals KX. I'm trying to find K. K equals Y divided by X. So here's a Y. So K equals 4 divided by, here's the X that goes with that, divided by 1 half. Well, that is the same as saying K equals 4 times the reciprocal of a half, or 2, and that is 8. Okay? So for every half pound, we're increasing by 4. Okay, one times eight, one half times eight is four, one times eight is eight, 
one and a half times eight is 12. And then to go this way, we would divide 16 divided by eight, our K will equal our X. So that would be two. Two and a quarter times eight is 18. Okay, and here are the points on the graph. Zero, zero, one half, four, they all line up with the tape. So, for example, this point, one half, comma, four, and something I don't like about this is they aren't putting parentheses around here, and that is an absolute must. One half, comma, four, all of these should be in parentheses. Do not get into the habit of labeling a graph and not putting your points in parentheses. Okay? All right, so with that said, now if I choose a point like this, one half comma four, okay, if I choose this point here, it's right there. Okay, these are points on the graph. Is this relationship proportional? How do you know from examining the graph? My answer to that would be yes. For every value of x, you multiply by 8, you get a y that's on the line. The line is straight, it goes through the origin. Okay. Now the next question is, what is the unit rate for the cost per pound? Well, in math, the word unit means one. In other words, how much does one pound cost? The unit rate for the cost in pounds. What does one pound cost? Well, it's right here. Eight. Okay. Go to one. Whoa. So what your y value is if you're using a graph. Okay. The unit rate for cost per pound is eight dollars. Okay. In dollars. Write an equation to model this data. Okay. Well, y equals k x. And k is eight, our unit rate. Unit rate is uh, k. What ordered pair represents the unit rate and what does it mean? Well, again, if we have a point, unit means one. So I have a point with a one in it, and it's the point one comma eight. And what does it mean? It means that if I got a pound of mushrooms, it would cost me eight dollars. What does the ordered pair 216 mean in the context of this problem? A lot had this problem here, that this right here. They're telling me something like x is 2 and y is 16. That tells nothing about this problem. This problem is talking about cost of mushrooms. So in order to answer this correctly, you would say 2 pounds of mushrooms costs $16. That's what the point 216 means in the context of this problem. Okay, is that clear? F, if you could spend $10 on mushrooms, how many pounds could you buy? Okay, well that's easy. I could either go back up to my table and look to see if that's on there. Is, there, is $10 there? Cost in dollars? No, it skips. 8 to 12. Okay, so what can I do? Well, I write the equation y equals kx. y equals kx. That's 8. All right? y is dollars. x is pounds. I know y is 10. So now I come over here and say 10 equals 8x. Solve for x. Divide by 8. Divide by 8, the 8's cancel, and I get x equals 10 eighths, or 5 fourths, which equals 1 and a quarter pounds. Okay? If you know that equation and know how to use it, it makes everything so much easier. What would be the cost of 30 pounds of mushrooms? All right, I'm going to repeat y equals kx. Write the formula every time. Substitute in your given 8 and then plug in the given 30 pounds. Well that's x. So now it's y equals what would the cost be? We don't know y. y equals 8 times 30. y equals $240. Okay. Unless you're a restaurant you probably aren't going to spend $240 on mushrooms. 
Alrighty, so that was a quick and I think fairly straightforward lesson 15. And that is the end. Lesson summary, proportional relationships can be represented through, a, through use of graphs, tables, equations, diagrams, and verbal descriptions. In a proportional relationship arising from ratios and rates of multiple fractions, the graph gives us a visual display of all values of the proportional relationship, straight line going through the origin, especially the quantities that fall between integer values. Okay. Well, it's easier to graph points on the corners of the graph like here and here. These are integers. Could we have, oh, well, this is an integer, 1.5. Uh, 2 is, 1, 8 is, 0, 0, they are, okay. Integers are non-fractions, right? Not always necessary, but it is easier. Okay? All right, go do your problem stuff.